been what? <laughs> this side? That's not happening. Can I put my foot on the where the brake is? Here, throw me the GoPro. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can. You gotta do it on this side. I feel like my right leg is better. Don't put. I died. There's no handles over here. I mean, you can. I got it. I got it. Now I can just make that look super small. <laughs> Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Amanda, and we are Mike Handa. And this weekend, we are doing a little more of a vlogging style video again. We're gonna be putting a, like a homemade bimini type thing up for the back of the boat. So we're gonna make it kind of like a sunshade, go from the top of the bimini that's on the boat. Yeah, from the hard top all the way back to the motors pretty much yeah so you can watch and join us yeah. we're making one because they cost too much to buy they're like well it's hard to find anyway for a hard top that extends but they want I saw one for like $750 and all it is is a piece of canvas and two poles they go into the rod holders in the back and that's it so I bought some canvas for 15 bucks and two uh, tent poles uh, that extend to put in the rod holders for like, I think that was 35, 40 bucks for the pair. So I got like around 50 bucks in the whole thing and put some snaps on the hard top. <laughs> You're talking so and maybe get it to fit right that's about it yeah so we'll link all the products that we used uh, in this project below so you can check out what we are using and let's get started I got it's actually a uh, a paint drop cloth for like when you paint walls and stuff you just put it on the floor but it's a six by nine drop cloth I figure this would be strong enough and light enough and it was a, about the right size I needed so and it was cheap I got the bad one? No. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> Probably because I'm doing it with one hand. Are these the right size? That's what a man 
asked for. Oh, here, hold on. Let me let me get over here so I can get it up here for you. Or do you got it? Oh, you got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Step one complete. Well, close. Hurry, it's getting sunny. So I want shade. <laughs> ah, it's nice under here. <laughs> it's like you're playing that parachute game. Did you ever play that as a kid? Yeah. So this is the concept. Okay. So we gotta make some uh, straps because the the back poles are wider than the the cloth and the hard top up front. We have to make some straps that go from the corners to the ends of the poles. Alright, stay just like that. I'm gonna go take a view from below. Don't die. Huh? So don't die. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Bill, oh, nothing. Whoa, I don't want to stand under that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Well, we got it up now. Mike was a he-man and he ripped out that snap. <laughs> but we got, I got some straps sewn on up here. And then we put some eyelets on the end of the straps. It's still a little saggy. It's so loud. Yeah, but we're still missing three, four clips. No, just two. Yeah, but that ain't on. But it looks pretty good. Nice and uh, sun shady. <laughs> All right, well, we got it up. We need a little, a uh, few more corrections um, and adjustments to do to it. Yeah. But overall, it's pretty I mean, good. It's not professional by any means but it'll give us some extra shade and it, it was pretty simple to do yeah probably overall without not accounting for a trip we had to make to get some more supplies and then uh, some sewing machine mishaps it probably only took like maybe half an hour really. yeah and it was on like maybe fifty dollars total so yeah all right well for now, that's all, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you.